Welcome to this product video. Today I'm going to give a quick overview of troubleshooting a Cambium Network's 450B radio link in backhaul mode. Let's jump into the master radio. On the main homepage you can see straight away that my slave radio is connected and the link is up. This is in the backhaul stats section. However, for further info we need to look at the link status page in the tools menu. In the link status page, we can see that the modulation rate is not the same in both directions. It is on 8x slash 6x in the downlink direction and 8x slash 5x in the uplink direction. This means the signal from the slave cannot be decoded at the same rate as the downlink and the throughput will be lower. There could be a number of factors causing this, such as poor alignment or localised interference at the slave end of the link. There are a couple of troubleshooting tools built into the radios to help resolve issues such as this. The first tool is the Spectrum Analyzer. This is used to determine if there is any interference on the primary operating frequency and indeed the entire radio band. The Spectrum Analyzer can be run locally from the master radio locally on the slave radio and can also be used via the master radio to perform remote spectrum analysis at the slave end of the link without needing to go to site. To run the spectrum analyzer, go to the tools and spectrum analyzer menu, set your scanning bandwidth and duration, and then simply click the start sector spectrum analysis button. By default, the master will scan for one minute. If you're performing spectrum analysis on the slave radio, the default time is 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and run this. One thing to note is that using the spectrum analyzer on either radio will stop traffic passing over the radio link. So schedule in a maintenance window with your end user to avoid any complaints. The resulting output displays signals detected across the band and shows the peak of each signal in dBm. This info can be used to determine a clean frequency for use by the link where it will be possible to achieve a signal to noise ratio over 35 dB. In this instance, you can see we have some interference on the 5267.5 frequency, and then a little bit more interference over here around 5792. The second tool we will look at is the alignment tool. This alignment tool is actually only accessible on the slave radio and it can be found in the tools slash alignment tool section of the user interface. The alignment tool can be used to help align the radio link in both the vertical and horizontal plane. There are two sections to the tool, the receive power graph and the receive signal quality graph. The data shown in the alignment tool is real time and will change as you move the radio whilst installing. The receive power graph will show you the received signal level in dBm. When aligning, try to get as close to the predicted RSSI figure in the link budget calculation as possible. Sometimes it may be necessary to increase the radio transmit power to achieve this. As you can see, whilst I am aligning this radio, the received power graph fluctuates between NEG55 and NEG65 dBm as I move the radio. The receive signal quality graph goes into further detail. The receive power and signal to noise ratio statistics are both shown in real time, but this time show both the vertical plane and the horizontal plane. When aligning, both the vertical and horizontal plane RSSI and SNR figures should be as close as possible, if not identical. The receive signal quality graph also gives a breakdown of the modulation rates that the receive packets are decoded at. Ideally, we would like to see most packets decoded at 256 QAM in order to achieve the highest throughput possible on the selected channel bandwidth. After using both these troubleshooting tools and performing remedial steps such as alignment and changing operating frequency, you should now have a stable link. You can check this in the link status page on the master radio or the home screen on the slave radio. that now after performing the alignment 
this radio link is performing a lot better with the downlink rate at 8x and 8x MIMO B. Thank you for watching.